Mr. Karadzic, could you please stand? In a courtroom in The Hague today, the man known as the Butcher of Bosnia finally faced justice. Guilty of the following counts. Count two, genocide. Count three, persecution, a crime against humanity. Radovan Karadzic was sentenced to 40 years in prison for atrocities committed during the Bosnian War. The UN War Crimes Tribunal ruled the former Bosnian Serb leader oversaw a campaign of persecution, terror and extermination. The court recounted the years of suffering endured by the people of Sarajevo, Serb forces relentlessly targeting civilians with artillery and sniper fire. The court ruled Karadzic contributed significantly to carrying out that plan. It also found Karadzic responsible for the 1995 massacre of Bosnian Muslims in Srebrenica. He led Serb forces in the slaughter of an estimated 7,000 men and boys. In Srebrenica today, many watched the verdict as it was broadcast live. We did not win justice, says this woman whose husband and son were killed in the massacre. We waited too long and many mothers are not alive to hear this verdict. Accordingly, today's decision was a long time coming. Karadzic was first indicted in 1995 but spent years on the run. He was arrested in 2008 in Serbia where he had changed his appearance and forged a new identity as a new age healer. His trial lasted nearly 500 days and heard from nearly 600 witnesses. Throughout it all, Karadzic maintained his innocence. Even today, his lawyer said the former Serb leader is disappointed and astonished by the verdict and determined to appeal. Tom Perry, CBC News, London.